Hey riders, how's it going? It's Paul. Uh, like I said, uh, last week there would be no uh, movie review because I'm going to do a recap from the last couple months of uh, September and October. Um, just to recap what was saw, what, what I saw and uh, how I think it shook out in the grand scheme of the film year. Um, and so... Well, I mean, it started off this uh, uh, pretty good um, with uh, Detroit. And then, of course, right after Detroit uh, came It. And, um, you know, and then uh, there's some really, uh, I really enjoyed It. Uh, then there was Mother, uh, The Kingsman, Battle of the Sexes. Let's see here. There was Blade Runner 2049. There was, I just saw Only the Brave. And I know that I'm missing one in there. I can't remember quite what it is offhand. I don't know what I'm missing in there. But all in all, um, this, uh, this segment of the year was a little, uh, I guess you could say, underwhelming. There were some really good films. I saw at least three that were that were top notch, which was, uh, uh, Detroit, it and battle of the sexes. Those, those are really good films. Um, really good casts, uh, very, very good stories. And it was very surprising to me. Uh, I didn't expect it to be as good as it was. And battle of the sexes, uh, I mean, Emma Stone was just outstanding. And out of Detroit, uh, Will Poulter was absolutely haunting. Um, and so there, so those movies really stood out to me. Uh, and the rest of them, eh, were, were, were good. I mean, there were some good, good technical aspects to it. Like in Kingsman, I mean, uh, the camera work and the editing was very good. And Julianne Moore was a, was a really good villainess. I didn't really expect her to to be that. Um, uh, she was good. I, I enjoyed her in that role. Uh, Only the Brave had a really good cast as well. Uh, very, um, uh, very strong. At least, at least I should say the the all stars of the cast. You know, Jeff Bridges and uh, Jennifer Connelly, who is absolutely awesome um and so and blade runner i mean technically and mother i mean mother kingsman and and blade runner uh all three of those films had really good things going for them technically cinema 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 the cinematography uh and the editing the editing especially in mother and uh uh kingsman was very strong and so so I, I know there's a movie in there that I'm missing, and I can't think of what it is. So bear, uh, bear with me on that one. But, uh, but all in all, I think the strongest of the movies, I mean, it was hard for me to think about this, but I really think it was the best one out of this, these four months, or these two months of, uh, of or these crop of films. I think um, top to bottom, story-wise, so on and so forth, it was... It was the best. As for the weakest one, I would have to say Mother. Uh, that one really disappointed me. Um, I was hoping for a bit more. I, like I said, I liked what they did technically, but uh, they lost me with the story. They had a great cast. In fact, Michelle Pfeiffer was awesome in this movie. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing her again in Murder on the Orient Express. Um, so I'm glad that she's come back into the realm, but... That's those are my picks for this night for these last two months. Uh, the best was it, and the worst would have to be Mother. So, what did you think? Did you enjoy some of the movies that I reviewed these past two months? Give me your thoughts, let me know. Uh, put it in the comments. Uh, but at the same time, please like my Facebook page, please follow me on Instagram, and please subscribe to me on YouTube. And I'm also on the podcast, I have the podcast. So, there you have it. So, we start a whole new crop next week. So